Andy Katz here for Fox Sports with my tiers of the week. Let's start out with tier one. These are my teams that this week look like Final Four contenders. I've got six of them. Gonzaga and Baylor, both on pause for now, but coming back from having to be shut down. And uh, both teams, when they were playing, were looking like Final Four contenders. So we have to assume when they come back, Gonzaga taking on Iowa and Baylor getting into their Big 12 schedule, that they'll pick up where they left off. So both teams still, they don't move from this perch. Iowa, they've been at home. Still, every time out, Luca Garza has looked like a dominant National Player of the Year. This is his award to lose, averaging over 30. But it's not just Garza. Jordan Bohannon is bearing threes, which they weren't sure was going to happen when he was coming back from hip surgery. This Iowa team is defending better, and now they've got the showdown against Gonzaga scheduled for Saturday in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Could be a national title preview. Michigan State, no Cassius Winston, no Xavier Tillman. And yet, every time out, the Spartans continue to look like a team that actually could get to the Final Four. They are so deep, experienced, around the perimeter, any kind of face-up forward, wings. Tom Izzo has a squad that can score this season. Villanova, won at Texas, beat Butler, came back against Georgetown. The Wildcats certainly look like a team that could get to the Final Four, and they are playing big-time offensive basketball, and defensively, they're coming up with key stops at the right moments. The new member to this club, West Virginia. A dominant performance over Richmond. Their only loss was to the number one team in the country in Gonzaga, and they had a, they, they had a time during that game where it looked like they could pull it out until later when Gonzaga started to wear them down. But the Mountaineers certainly have all the pieces in place to potentially win the Big 12 and make a deep run. All right, Tier 2. I'm going to call this group Rising Up. Teams that certainly could get into Tier 1 over the next week or two. We'll see. Tennessee, off of pause, looking very strong in the few games that they've played so far. Missouri, equally as good a team in the SEC right now after beating Illinois in the Bragging Rights game. Illinois, their only loss was to Missouri in Columbia. They knocked off Duke. They destroyed Minnesota. Kofi Coburn, when he wants to be, he can be a dominant force inside. Wisconsin, they're a tapping away from being undefeated. Have not left their comfortable Cole Center uh, outside of that Marquette game. So haven't left the state. And yet the Badgers still are playing much better offensively than they were a year ago at this time. San Diego State, dominant win at Arizona State, beat UCLA early. They're clearly right now probably the second best team in the West behind Gonzaga. Rutgers beat Syracuse at home, go on the road, and I know Maryland is rebuilding, but still, to win on the road like that showed that the Scarlet Knights are going to be a threat in the Big Ten. Kansas beat Creighton by one, But the Jayhawks, behind Jalen Wilson, the former Michigan signee, uh, are starting to find their rhythm, their groove, their identity. They're going to be in the race to go deep. Florida State, Scotty Barnes, the freshman, a little floater to knock off Indiana in the ACC Big Ten Challenge. Then they took down Florida and the Seminoles. Once again, they're going to be an ACC title contender. And Texas. Outside of that home loss to Villanova, a team that's in Tier 1 for me, uh, they've looked pretty good, and Greg Brown is finding his role in this team, which is to do a little bit of everything for Shaka Smart. All right, Tier 3. Two teams a little out of sight, but certainly could be in Tier 2 or Tier 1. One is Houston. Played very well before the pause, but we may not know till early January when they play SMU just how good this Houston team is post-pause. And Virginia. Not able to play their game against Villanova at Madison Square Garden this Saturday because they're coming off of their COVID pause. And prior to that, they still didn't have that big-time win, not able to play Michigan State. They may not play a top-20 team until deep into January, maybe February, when you look at their ACC schedule. So unless they can pick up another high-profile non-conference game over the next couple of weeks, it may be a while before Virginia is truly tested by an elite team. And that's why they're in Tier 3 right now. A little out of sight. So those are your tiers for this week for Fox Sports.